Now in high definition from Western North Carolina's news leader, this is News 13 at 5. Patients who need IVs, chemotherapy, or blood transfusions often don't have the best veins. As a result, they often endure the discomfort of multiple sticks. But as News 13's Jay Siltzer shows us, Party Hospital has new technology aimed at ending that. Uh, this is for on and standby. This machine, the vein viewer, and its near infrared capability are a shining example how nurses are locating vessels on hard to stick patients. They're accepting of it and, and seem to like it, especially considering that you may have to stick them uh, once rather than two or three times. Gives them a little bit of safety cushion knowing that we're taking that extra step to, to try to make it as comforting for them as possible. So like as I strip this vein, you can see the blood fills right up. Hans Neuer has a blood disorder and requires frequent transfusions. This technology shows some of his veins are scarred and collapsed. But before the vein viewer, multiple sticks proved almost unavoidable. This has been pretty successful for you, hasn't it, Mr. Knorr? We've mm -hmm. used it the last couple weeks that you've come in. Not anymore. It's really very nice. He just gets one stick and they start it and he's ready to go. <laughs> Party hospital officials say this is the only vein viewer in western North Carolina. It's housed in the emergency room, and currently it's portable, able to go to other units such as oncology. If it proves successful, there could be one of these before long on every floor. In the meantime, more and more hospitals are expected to see the light and go toward it to improve patient care. In Hendersonville, Jay Siltzer, News 13. Interesting. Mm. Well, it began nine years ago.